In the world of science education has not had a revolutionary approach since the 1950s in the post Sputnik era. So it hasn't worked and that's why we need something new. The students will learn science through rhyme and craft raps that are immersed in science. Because I'm always in motion like energy. That like my scientists and penitentiary is not really elementary. This is like tailor made for us because like what I do is music. And they be like, all you do is rap, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, well, all you do is breathe. These young people are living and breathing hip hop already. And we're just merging science into that. The photons are emitting or illuminating on the surface area of the leaf. Or in the hood, I would say, it was getting light and wavy on a whole joint but it's the same exact concept. We haven't focused yet on the culture of young people. So let's focus on using culture as an anchor for instruction, because if this doesn't work, then we're doomed. I need a drum roll, y'all need to give me a drum roll. Stop. As of right now, this very moment is the first official set it off moment for the Science Genius Battles at Bronx Compass. I know you can hype up, he's hype, everybody can be hyped too. So this dude will help you with your lyrics, this dude will help you with your science, put it all together, and it's gonna be a healthy, healthy competition here. Yes? I'm not good at science. You're not good at science? Yeah. No, wait a minute, time out, time. That's a good question. Why do you say you're not good at science? I don't know, it's too much. It's too much smartness. <laughs> okay, so science is too much smartness. Now, that's, that's, that's good. Now, do you like hip hop? Yeah. You like rap? Yeah. Do you think hip hop or rap is too much smartness? It's smartness, but not as like, not much as science. Don't worry. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna break down something to you real quick. What scientists do every day is that they go out into the environment and they observe. Guess what MCs do? They sit outside the window, they look at what's going on in the hood, and they write it down. Being creative. Einstein came up with the theory of relativity. He imagined himself writing a light beam out of space. Like, if you went to your teacher and was like, um, I'm imagining myself writing a light beam, they'd be like, oh, I'm a psychologist. But he, he actually imagined himself writing a light beam out of space, meaning he was super creative. It's like an MC saying, I'm going to write this song from a different perspective. The point is, you're like, yo, science is all this smartness. But as an MC and in hip hop, guess what? Same amount of smartness. You feel me? So don't think science has smartness. Once you use your hip hop and spit it with it, you'll be able to do it anyway. All right? Tyler, you want to get into your lesson? Yeah. So you guys have heard of photosynthesis before, right? My name is Tyler Sinks, and I'm a science teacher at Bronx Compass High School. It's the way that plants capture the energy of light anything that we eat. It had to be built on something that was doing photosynthesis. I'm really excited just um, to be able to push the curriculum through a uh, means that's way more exciting. So pretty much you're saying plants grab the energy from the sun and that's the way that we get all our food from? Yeah. It just sounded like what you said was two bars really quickly. Nice. Right? There happens to be some rhythm there. All right. My biggest hope is that those 90 minutes every Friday are, you know, science and there's not time wasted, you know, for those students. So right now, your assignment is to take all the information that you got from photosynthesis and write at least two bars on all this information. Well, when they first told me how to write a rap about science, I was thinking in my head, I can't do this. I, like, I never wrote a rap before. Let's do it in steps. Step one. The energy comes from the sun. Oh, hey, hold up. That's a, that's a bar. <laughs> you know that, right? So when I first walked into the classroom, I really tried to get a read on the kids. And Miguel, you know, he was a little apprehensive to the interactions and stuff. I do like to write, but I have like some type of like little stage fright. I tried to get him to see the connections that gave light to the concept and at the same time gave a little bit of a rhyme. My name is Keegan Dillon. You know, I rap a couple of years now. No biggie. Science is not my strongest subject, but I guess since they mixed it with music, it became my favorite subject. Everybody's got some bars, and now we just want to hear them. So let's do a cypher. We got to have a cypher. That's so hip hop, you need the circle. So we're going to go to Miguel. Are you ready? You sure you ready? By the end of coaching, Miguel actually ended up coming out of his shell. He looked like he felt good about the sharing. One, two, one. Two, three, Miguel. Light moves to improve the life. 
The energy ignites, taking you to new heights. Plant grows for us to live life right. To live life right. Mm. To live life right. To live life right. I thought it was going to be really hard, but then I got help from Chris, and then I started getting confidence in myself, and then I was able to do it. One, two, one, two, three, Victoria. Step one, energy comes from the sun. Step two, the plant exudes the energy. Three, animals eat the energy. Four, energy is transformed to me. So now open your eyes and see that I'm the science rap battle genius. Didn't think I could do it, but now I got y'all believing. So she came off with the science in the beginning and then just talked real greasy at the end, which I appreciate as well. Even though we are pretty good at hip hop, we can get better at it, and plus we can get better at science. One, two, three. Last name synthesis, first name photo. I stay energized like motion in loco. Energy in the perfect thing that stimulate. I'm vegetarian, the thing that I emulate. Hear me, you shake it. Ground in Haiti, my flow shines bright. My flow is so wavy. No metal, more furry rock. And all I got is so green like a beanstalk. And I didn't finish it, so move to Georgia. Damn, in a couple minutes, oh, that's kind of pretty impressive. Oh, man. And I need energy to make my body move So to kick a free or right I could do that really tight Even add some science words to make this sound right Photons and light hitting eyes to let me see Switch it up and go, lights illuminate my show Using words that I know and let that plant grow Only two birds, man, I went longer I would have did some more, but Chris told me to go Woo! Yeah. I heard illuminate, I heard plants, I heard photosynthesis, I heard energy, and I heard the process. So the science is built in there, which is real gangster. So thank you, it was an amazing first session, beautiful. I knew that they would be taking a portion of my class time, but the planning that I had done basically got thrown out the window. We still don't have a great picture of what the session is gonna look like, and I'm eager to have just kind of a routine that we can build new pieces into. Part of our 90 minutes is an activity where we flesh out the mini lesson. You need some kind of demo, some kind of test. That makes it sound more like a regular class. Right, but we have 90 minutes. Yeah. There's no reason we can't have science and rap happening at the same time. It's going to take a lot more collaboration to make the best products that we can. And so I'm eager to smooth out those wrinkles. I just really want to get as much science into my head as I can. Like the way they taught this today is interesting and I want to get more of that into our daily lesson and stuff that we learn. In terms of the classroom atmosphere, it was like laser beam focused. They really wanted to get to what it was that they were asked to do. For me, I think I'll become a better rapper and I'm looking forward to learning more things about science that I can include in my rap. Is there a higher grade than A? Because if there is, then I'm definitely getting that. A plus plus, extra credit. Well, you know, I'm sitting that, in the front of the class. All that good stuff. Man. I mean, I ain't gonna be no teacher's pet though. You know. <laughs> a project like Science Genius begins with getting them to show up to school, thinking science is okay, and writing a few lines. Then we can get to the point where we scaffold up to build the content expertise. But you gotta start somewhere. And you start with getting them in the door and by getting them excited about learning. You know, that's the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, science enthusiasts, and those who could care less, you have to tune in to episode two because we have a hip-hop icon that will be joining us. Yes, Jizz of the Genius will be in the building.